This is the Lens LS100 accessory decoder. This is an old style one which I'm just using. Um, this is a brand new one, they've just moved the outputs around on the box. It's wired into a transformer and to the JNK track feeds from the main set 100 from the LZV100. I've also wired it to a flash run point with their accessory lantern on it just to sort of illustrate what's going on here. The point itself is wired into output 1, the black wire there to the common return and then the two motor wires to the plus and the minus on output 1. To program a new address, what I do if I set a new address in there, so we'll put it to number 9 for instance. Just press the button on the LS100 until the LED comes on and then send the command. Another box will be addressed from 9, 10, 11 and 12. I've now wired in a Weissman colour light signal into the output. At the moment the unit is actually set up to control points, so you'll see when I flick, well, address 12, the lights briefly come off, come on and go off again. What I'll need to do is actually program this output for continuous output so that the lights will stay on. To do this I need to quickly rewire it as a programming track. Just a moment. Using the wiring diagram in the LS100 manual I've wired J and K and the transformer to the programming track output P and Q on the LZV100. Just So we get into programming mode, so press F, scroll around until it says program and enter, and scroll around until it says reg for register programming. In this case I want to adjust output 4, so I'm going to register 5. This is all in the manual anyway, press enter. The value you want to put in, 0 to 15 sets the, can set a duration, so it will operator point motor um, and that can be from 0.1 seconds up to 15 seconds depending on the motor you're using. Value of 32 will give it a continuous output and then 33 to 47 will cause the outputs to flash for uh, warding lights and things whatever you want to use it for. So in this case I want to put a continuous output 32. Enter. And we'll just escape out of that. Now rewired the um, LS100 back in as the track output and separate transformer, and the light signal is on continuous output, which is correct. And if I can clear that, I can go back to the point, and the point still works on its independent on its short pulses.